All right, it is snake season in Georgia, and if you're outside sooner or later, you know you're going to see one just slithering on by you. But with 46 different kinds of snakes here, how do you know which ones you really need to worry about? I talk to my kids about this a lot, show them pictures, you know, worried mom. Caitlin Ross is going through the fact and fiction about snakes in Georgia. Caitlin? There are six types of venomous snakes in Georgia, but here in Atlanta, there's only likely to be one, the copperhead. So that's exactly what Jason Clark with Southeastern Reptile Rescue brought for us to look at today. When you step out of your front door, you're stepping into their home. And it's a house most of us don't know much about. People know a lot about dogs. Most people don't know anything about snakes. And they take their knowledge of dogs and transfer it onto a snake. And they think when they see this, if they run, the snake is going to chase them. Absolutely not true. If you see a snake, remain calm, run, cartwheel, crawl, walk away from the snake. It will not chase you. According to the Wildlife Center at the University of Florida, around 8,000 people are bitten by venomous snakes every year. An Alabama man died last week after a copperhead bit him, but Clark says that's incredibly rare. And in fact, most snake bites can be avoided altogether. The only way you can get bit by a venomous snake is when you put yourself too close to the snake. The vast majority of snakes in Georgia are non-venomous, but Clark says it's actually really hard to tell them apart. Your venomous snakes do have that triangular diamond-shaped head, but a lot of your non-venomous snakes can move the bones in their skull into that same shape when they're scared in order to look dangerous. Other myths? That snakes like it hot, he says you're more likely to see a snake at dusk after it's cooled down a bit. You can't even tell a venomous snake and non-venomous snake apart by their eye shape. But he says you probably don't want to get close enough to look. Is it bad to be afraid of snakes? No, that's what keeps you alive. He says the most important thing here is education. Case in point, I was at my brother's last week, saw a snake coming through the fence, and I was like, ugh, snake. And he was like, ah, it's Snakey Pete. He's no big deal. He's not going to hurt you. So Clark says it's important that everyone gets educated about the type of snakes that are here in Georgia.